Buddy, it's about uh, seven o'clock in the uh, in the morning, and uh, today we're gonna do Battle Road. Uh, it's a the path that the uh, the regulars and the Colonials followed, pretty much parallel on Route Two here in Massachusetts. But uh, yeah, it's the morning of the Battle of Lexington Concord, and. Uh, yeah, there's a path here, so it's kind of a beautiful morning. Can't beat this. So let's go for a walk. <laughs> um, we just passed Miriam's Corner over there. And uh, um, I'm gonna head to head due, due east from here. Like I said, parallels uh, route two. So let's keep going. Man, you really can't beat this morning. <laughs> Sun's finally coming up, starting to warm up. We had a little storyboard back there. It says that these farms have pretty much been the same since about 1635 when the, uh, the uh, battle came through here. But, yeah, they say the pattern's pretty much the same, but not much has changed around here, I guess. Pretty good. These pigs have been here since uh, the 1700s. Man. I think they work for the uh, National Park Service. <laughs> Got a good retirement program, I'm sure. Nice working farm over here. Oh, sorry, buddy. It's pretty neat. Um, some of this uh, this uh, path is elevated, uh, but some of the wood could be changed. But other than that, it's pretty neat. It takes you above the the wetlands, a little marsh area. But you can only imagine, from my experience in the military, they're not fighting in the marsh. I was in the desert. But, uh, yeah, it must have been pretty tough going, especially with all the gear and those long rifles. And, uh, yeah, but, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty bad for the uh, regulars to uh, fall back, too. There's a storyboard back there. It says, like, during the time of the, the battle, it wasn't really much woods. It was more cleared pasture, like you see behind me. So, I'm sure a lot of it was tough no matter which way you look at it, but yeah, I'd say it's mostly clear they use the, mostly use the rocks for, for uh, cover. And uh, yeah, a lot of concealment around here too. In the military, no difference, hey? Cover and concealment. One can stop a bullet, one can. Another little storyboard. Uh, just talks about the uh it, this house up here with the family was a in the tannery business. So talks about the trades of people that lived along the the route. That's a rough trail ahead. So far, can't beat the hike. It's uh, pretty easy going. Most of it's uh, improved. A couple of the boardwalks back there are a little slippery, but I think it's just from the morning. How cold it was last night. I got down to 30s when I started. That was about quarter to seven. But uh, other than that, it's a beautiful trail.
So this is the area um, known as uh, Bloody Angle. I guess uh, I say some of the some of the storyboards right here say some of the most intense fighting happened around here. But uh, here you have a it says near here are buried British soldiers on uh, April 19th, 1775. But man, you can only imagine what happened here. And, uh, see all the stone walls and it's a beautiful, beautiful area though. Can't beat it. I guess the only thing that's still standing is a fireplace. But they put a frame around it, so you get the idea. It's pretty impressive. Got the, the basement, all the chimneys and hearths, I guess you would say. Keep you warm. Pretty impressive. There's the house that we just looked at right there. And here's Battle Royal. That's kind of went right in their front yard, didn't it? That's crazy. Who lived here again? It was uh, Sergeant Samuel Hartwell and his wife. Mary Hutwell lived here. But it says it was around until the 1890s. It burned in 1968 while serving as a restaurant. That's kind of sad. Going this way and that way, the British soldiers, I guess there's about 700 strong, coming down this road with flankers out past the stone walls. Um, yeah, it must have been a quite the sight to see, especially if you're a, a local. I guess it came by in the afternoon and <laughs> started running back in the afternoon. So I guess you're not sure what the heck's going on, but I'm sure it's quite the impressive sight. And your home team was winning, looked like. I had them on the run. America. Yeah. Get to go under a tunnel. 
All right. Looks more like a drainage tunnel, but. Huh. So here we are at where Paul Revere was captured. Uh, it says here about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, on the morning of April 19th, he was captured. Him and uh, Dawes had come from Boston. Looks like Dawes had taken a more southern route, and uh, Revere had taken the northern route through Charleston. But this is where his uh, night ride ended. He took his horse. He walked back to Lexington, and. Uh, I guess he was there in about time to hear the, uh, the gunshots be fired there, but yeah, this is where Paul Revere was captured. There's Route 2 right there. <laughs> this area we know is uh, Parker's Revenge. Parker was the uh, Militia man in uh, Lexington, who, when the British came, they fired upon his his uh, colonial men. But so this is where Parker's revenge took place. You can see Battle Road runs right down that way. But uh, yeah, Parker and his men. After getting shot up at uh, Lexington, came here and they waited. Those so regulars come from down that way. And they waited, they got the high ground. They got their payback. But uh, yeah, this is where that famous Parker's Revenge took place. All up in these woods. But yeah, you can see the high ground that they had. Looking down, you can see, um, you can see Battle Road comes right there. So yeah, that's where Parker and his men, that's where Parker and his men waited for a little, Good old American payback. But, uh, yeah, definitely a good spot. Hmm. Use all these rocks, stone walls for cover. Pretty good spot. British were just running. Well, regulars were just running. They didn't care what they needed. They didn't get the hell out of there. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's continue. Parker's Revenge. Yeah. Yep. As you can tell, we are pretty close to the road. 90. We're heading, uh, do east, 95, about a mile that way. This kills right up here, though. Mark here says, this bluff was used as a rallying point by the British April 19th after a sharp fight. They retreated to Fisk Hill, and uh, from which they were driven in great confusion. Makes sense.
So this is fist kill. Not the what? Okay, here we go. All of the, uh, the leaves and stuff from the fall kind of making it harder to see over. And not as well marked as the other one, but still not too bad. Now the Brit uh, regulars, because I think everybody keeps saying they were all British back then, but the regulars still had a ways to go. But on my journey, as soon as I get up here, I got to turn around. This is the end of the battle road. I'm going to say this is a fist kill. <laughs> Towards the end of the line. I'm hoping it's right up here. Yeah, this is fist kill to my left. You can probably hear the road noise off to my right. That is a, that's 128 or 95. And just on the other side of that is a, Lexington. But I'm not gonna go over there today. That's a whole different, uh, whole different video, a whole different day. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna close this loop and then we're gonna head back. Here's another house that was uh, here during the battle, the Fisk, Fisk Farm. I guess I tore it down in 1955. That's where Fisk Hill gets his name. The Fisk House. Huh. This is it. End of the road. This uh, storyboard says that the uh, this is the end of the road for us, but the story continues. So we're here, we went all the way back here, Lexington Green, and all the way back to Charlestown and to Boston. And that's the end of it. Goes over there. Last 95. Well, that's gonna do it for uh, for uh, today's video. Hope you had fun. Today was the battle road, lots of walking again. Um, but uh, yeah, the journey continues. I think in the next video, we're gonna be doing uh, Mohawk Trail heading west, and then we're gonna head up north. Uh, we're gonna do uh, the Berkshires. Um, but yeah, today was the battle road. Fisk Hill, Fisk House. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Now I gotta get back to the car. Ah, uh, one more stone. At this well, April 19th, James Hayward of Acton met a British soldier who, raising his guns, said, you're a dead man and so are you, replied Hayward. Both fired, the soldier was instantly killed and Hayward was mortally wounded. We made it back on uh, 10 miles today and uh, the end of today's video I know I ended it back there but uh, it seemed like another trek just to get back but it turned out to be a beautiful day um, it's a great hike and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you on the next one yeah definitely I'm sore and I'm hungry Yeah, uh, sore and hungry. America. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.